Hi everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to use the 3D pen garment tool. If you'd like to follow along in the details section below, there is a link to a practice file. You can download that and follow along. I am going to open up my 2D window so we can see the pattern set here because as we draw lines, we'll get a preview marking on our 2D patterns that will show you what the seam that we drew looks like. To draw your actual line, you can start at an edge or anywhere within the pattern and you left click once to start. And as you're moving around your garment, you have to stabilize your segment with points as you're moving. So if you hold the control key down as you're clicking, it's going to place curve points. To end your line, you can hit an edge or you can land anywhere on the pattern and double click to finish that line. When you are drawing lines, you will control if the line is segmented by left clicking on your garment without holding anything down on your keyboard. And if you hold control or command for Mac, when you left click to place that point down, it will place a curve point. So the preview that I'm talking about is this, where this shows on your pattern. This is not a line that your editing tools can see or feel or do anything with. But if you switch to the Edit 3D Pen Garment tool and then go to your segment and right click, you are going to find all of these options. The first thing I want to point out is that we have some duplicates of things here, mainly cut and cut and sew. Anything under the category of symmetric will apply to both sides of your pattern if they are symmetrically linked. So my front body is symmetrically linked. So if I choose cut and sew, you're going to see that seam apply to both sides of the pattern. I'm gonna to go to the 3D pen and draw another marking. This pen can cross through seam work And it can also cross through already existing pen marks. It won't give you an error like the 3D pen avatar tool does. So now if I do not want to immediately cut and sew my garment, but instead I would like this to be a marking on my pattern I can edit, instead of choosing cut or cut and sew, if you choose convert to internal shape, it will eliminate the pen mark and then instead place this down as an internal line on your pattern. So you can go in and edit this before you cut and sew or these lines can really turn into a lot of different things. They can turn into a top stitch or they can turn into a graphic placement they can turn into just a measurement marking that you need or just a guideline for some other part of your design. And a couple things that I'll just call out here is that when I drew this line that crossed over the center front, when you choose trace or cut and sew in anything under the symmetric category, this area, it will also apply to both sides and it will cross through the center front as you drew it. So there isn't a marking by default. I can create a marking for myself. If you use the internal polygon tool and just draw a line straight down that pattern, you will be able to then follow this while you're drawing in the 3D window. Another option for you that is a fine solution if this is how you're starting your designing 
is to have your center front or your center back split apart because the pen tool will feel that seam and it will stop there if you would like to. So my back still has symmetry. They are linked. Any edits will apply to both sides. And then if you use the pen tool, you can feel that seam, double click to end to it, and it won't cross over onto the other side of your pattern. So here I just drew my 3D pen mark. I do have the marking over here and a little bit on my raglan sleeve. I'm gonna right click and then explain we have an option for duplicate to symmetric pattern. So if you want to see how this seam line may end up looking when it's opened or has a symmetrical marking with it, you can choose duplicate to symmetric pattern. And then you can see that preview on your patterns and your 3D garment. The other things we have are add point or add curve point. With the editing tool, you can move these around you can delete them and as you can see that the adjustments for this one side don't automatically apply to the other side so these pen marks are not linked in any way you would have to delete this one and then reduplicate or go forward with tracing it out So the last thing I'll explain about the right click options, trace as internal shape is almost the same as convert to internal shape. If you choose trace as internal shape instead of convert, it simply leaves the 3D pen mark behind. If I were to go in here and move this line, the pen mark is still going to be there. That's the only difference between trace and convert. Convert gets rid of the pen altogether. Trace will leave the pen behind in case you want to use it afterwards. So if you are on the practice file, the pants that the avatar is wearing, the patterns are not linked. So the fronts are not linked and the backs are not linked to each other. I can tell because they don't have a blue highlight around them. These pocket pieces do, all of my front pieces do, and this piece when you click on it shows yellow and blue to show the symmetry, but these pieces are unlinked. If I'm going to use a 3D pen mark and I want the change to apply to both sides, I am going to link them. You can link them by selecting the entire set, right clicking on one of them and choosing apply linked editing, symmetric pattern with sewing. It's going to identify what matches what, and now they highlight blue, letting me know that they are linked. So what I want to show you next is kind of like an extension of the 3D pen tool. It's in the 3D toolbar, and it's called Circumference Garment Measure. And what this does is it puts this cylindrical highlight around your garment in the 3D window, kind of showing you what could become a marking. This is its own new type of entity, and to put this down, you simply left click. And then when you put this down, if you switch to the Edit Garment Measure tool, this will allow you to right click in that location, and then also do things like cut or cut and sew or trace as internal line. I'm going to choose trace as internal line because I'd like to show you this specific thing about how it works is because all of the pieces are symmetrically linked and then I chose trace as internal line with this entity type thing and this touches every surface of every part of the pant pattern. So both of the backs and both of the fronts are being touched and when you choose this a line is being traced on every single area and then because they're linked what happens is you get two lines kind of directly in the same location all kind of mashed on top of each other when you use this you should go in and delete that extra one and then i'm also going to delete all the curve points on this marking 
it's going to straighten them out. Then I can go back and add some shaping in with a cleaner marking. Now I can use this clean internal line to right click on it and choose cut and then delete the pieces on the bottom to create a short. So this tool, it does follow any draping or any movement in the cloth. Not only can you put it down, you can also move this around with the gizmo. So this is kind of a poor example, but finding a waist location on a dress is really easy with this tool. Finding a waist that's perfectly straight or a waist that might be tilted up or down because this thing moves. So I can move it, then I can right click on it and choose trace or cut and sew. I'm going to choose trace again. Cut and sew should be pretty straightforward. If after you've traced your lines, your line does not actually hit the pattern edge, then you can use the extend trim option. I'm just going to do this on both of these segments. to make sure that fully hits the pattern outline, then I will choose cut and sew. To split those apart. After you've applied your cutting and sewing, that green cylindrical thing that you used is still actually left there. You might want to get to the edit garment measure tool, left click and delete that and it goes away. There are occasions when edits with this tool will leave behind a 3D pen mark. Just be aware that if you see any black segments or what look like pen marks, they might be, and then you can use the edit 3D pen mark to delete them. So I have a black pen mark still here on my body that I didn't actually do anything with. I am going to delete this. Now I'm going to just demonstrate what these changes can turn into. You can easily create a color blocked garment. This can become a top stitch detail. Top stitches will be taught in the last materials and rendering section. And all of the red lines are able to be hidden. I'm going to actually cut and sew this. So that concludes this tutorial about using the 3D pen garment tool and edit 3D pen garment. Thanks so much for watching and check out the details below for links on more tutorials.